Hello all you amazing and wonderful people, welcome back to the channel and in today's episode we are going to be exploring all of the hidden passwords and hidden coordinates located in the airship. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and do the passwords. Now if you're interested in where these passwords can be found before you can actually input them, they're all throughout Spira in the ruins and if you unlock the Albed's uh, dictionary or like their uh, alphabet uh, it will actually just spell out these passwords. But with that being said, all you got to do is go to input. It'll give you this little description of what I just said, where you can find these old riddles and scattered ruins, and it'll give you this little input text. Now, our first one, and the one that I'm focused on right now, is going to be God Hand. Now, the reason we need to do God Hand is it unlocks Riku's ultimate weapon. Let's go ahead and put that in. So you just do G O D H A N D. Confirm. And it says password number one deciphered. Now, when you go back to your list now, you will have a new location. And this is your first password. So go here. Here we go. And this will bring you to this location right here. Now I do have no encounters on for the sake of this video. But basically the only chest here is back in this area. Now in order to open this, you will need the celestial mirror. I have a walkthrough on how to do that. I'll post it up in the top right, but let's go ahead and open it. Now the proud owners of Riku's God Hand. So that is the first password. We're count. Now for the second password, we are going to put in Mira Sane. Not sure if that's how it's pronounced. That's how it is spelled. So I'm going to go ahead and put Mira. And then just the word same. A M E. Oh. Put in the wrong one. Like so. Go ahead and hit confirm. Get password number three. Ciphered. And you again head back into your list. Something new will pop up. And once you are here, you get to walk around, and there will be a chest right over here with the weapon Mira Sane. Now it is a pretty decent weapon. I do also have Orin's ultimate weapon already. In a, another video, I did that. I'll post that in the top right if you're interested in getting that weapon. But we have this one, Miracene. So it's piercing and one MP cost. Definitely very good and definitely recommended to uh, at least try it out if you don't have the Ultima weapon already. Could be turned into a very decent weapon. But let's go ahead and head back for the next password. We're counting on you. Now, password number three, we go ahead and input. And this one is victorious. There's a quicker way to input some of these, but. And there we go. Now again, got another list here. Ah, here we go. And you're at another location now. And your weapon is right here. Actually, I believe Victorious is an armor. Confusing myself, but 
That's how you get that one. Now, that is it for the passwords. But there are some locations that you can find with coordinates. So and how you do that is just go ahead and talk to Sid yet again. And I already found some of these, so we'll go ahead and hit search. And then it'll bring up this little menu where you get coordinates. Now, I already found the Baj Temple, but it's at X11. Over around here. And Y57. All the way down here. So search in that area right around here and you will find Baj Temple. Now, like I said, I already found it. So I have it right here on my list. And you can see, even though I can't control the camera angle, you can see that the location is right there by those islands. So now let's go back and go to search. Now we will go to the second location that I already have. I did them in prior videos. But the other location that I already have is Omega Ruins. Now, go to search. Your Omega Ruins are going to be over here by X69 and Y33. So over in this location right here. By the very top of this cloud, I guess you could say. And like I said, I'll go ahead and show that real quick. And you can see it's right in that location. Right where that pointer is. So those are the two locations that I've already unlocked. But there are more. Definitely recommend getting all of them just because, you know, completion sake, right? So let's go ahead and go back to search. And this will be the battle site. X39. Let's see if I can move correctly. Y56. Around this location. As you can see, we got the battle site. So let's go ahead and check that out. Here we go. Now, once you come up here, there's another chest. And you get Phantom Bangle. Now, this is for Lulu. And I'm fairly certain it's a pretty decent armor. So it has. Ice Eater, Fire Eater, and Water Eater. Very nice to have, for sure. Especially earlier in the game, if you're just getting the airship and you want to get something like that, definitely good to have before you go and fight Seymour for the last time, without giving too many spoilers. But go ahead and board the airship. Now the next location is Besaida Falls. We're counting. Go ahead and go back to search. We got X29. Right there, and we'll go Y73. Right in this location area around here. There we go. Right at the bottom of the cloud there. The Sade Falls. Go to our list. Sade Falls. Here we go. And you get teleported right next to this chest. And you get the Dragoon Lance. And that is for Timari. Let's go ahead and board the airship quick. We'll take a look at the Dragoon Lance. We got Magic Counter and Evade Encounter. Definitely two good moves to have if you don't have his ultimate weapon. You could definitely upgrade that one and make it a very good weapon. There are a few more locations. I believe two to be exact and one is Mihenna ruins so let's go ahead and talk to sid yet again search now the Mihen ruins are at 33 x y55 all the way to 33 y55 it's right in this area near this cloud there we go back to the list go to ruins here we go and you are teleported in the very back here the calm or uh, yeah calm lands me and high road sorry about that can't be perfect all the time 
But go ahead and pick this up. You get a weapon called Sonar. We don't have Riku's God Hand. Sonar isn't a very bad alternative. Just keep that in mind. Go ahead and board the airship yet again. And we have one last location to check out. We're counting. Back to search. We're going to go to 12 and 41. So right about where I'm at now. We got Su uh, Snoopy and Dan's. Yeah. <laughs> Snoopy and Dan's. Oh my goodness. Snoopy and Desert. If I can speak today, that'd be amazing. So let's go ahead and head down there. Snoopy and Sands. And we will get. Ascalon. Now, Ascalon is a pretty cool weapon. Go ahead and take it out. And go all the way down. Now, as you can see, Ascalon has double AP. It'd be nice if it had more slots that you can actually upgrade it with, but it's not a bad weapon. And if you don't need it, it sells for a pretty penny. So, good to have. But that is all of the secret locations that you can get using the airship. So if this video helped you out or if you enjoyed watching it, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content and more bonus content of Final Fantasy X and the post-game content, please subscribe to the channel. But with that being said, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care.